Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on using Adobe Photoshop. Today's activities is going to be talking about shapes. Not only how to create shapes, but how to combine and manipulate shapes as well. In Adobe Illustrator, this is fairly straightforward and a lot easier. And in Photoshop, it has some more nuances to it. So I want to go through that with you today. I want to start by exploring the tools panel. Um, I'm sorry, the shapes options under the tools panel. We do have a the keyboard shortcut of U or Shift U so that you can rotate through those tools as you see I'm doing here. Um, but we also have just some basic shapes. These are a little different than Adobe Illustrator, um, just slightly nuanced differences. We have the rectangle, the ellipse, the triangle, polygon line, and custom shapes. So for this, I do want you to practice with drawing some perfect shapes, which is holding down the Shift key, drawing some not so perfect shapes like an oval, how to draw a line, which I will say I use the line tool in Photoshop much more than I use it in um, Illustrator. This is one of those where it's pretty straightforward. You know, you do have the ability to change the stroke size um, and things like that, and you can make it dashed versus um, undashed versus dots. You also can change the sizing of the dash. So if you wanted a 10 dash with a 10 gap, you can do some things like that. So I just want you to be aware of what your choices are for this program. Um, you also can draw a triangle, and I did want you to see that if you click one time, like in other programs, you can adjust the height and the width, and I've put those for you so that you can see. You can also choose whether it's an equilateral triangle, whether it has a radius on the corner, things like that. And then it will draw you the shape that you are looking for. Um, again, if you do an equilateral triangle, keep in mind that it's going to change the proportions of your triangle. Okay. Um, underneath the custom shape tool, um, you come up here, you do have some folders here. One of the things I've always liked is you can add custom shapes. You can go online. There's a lot of sites available like Backdeasy Shape or Brush Easy, I think has them, some things like that. So I just want you to find a custom flower and choose one of your choosing. And you can see if you click once again, you can also change the proportions of that, things like that. And they have some really nice shapes that you shouldn't not, you know, you shouldn't reinvent the wheel if they've already done it. For you. The polygon is also here where again you click once and you have some different choices whether it's a symmetrical polygon or not, whether the number of sides, things like that. I just want you to be aware of how to change various settings and use these shapes. That is artboard one. All right, next we're going to talk about how to take multiple shapes and combine them, removing pieces, merging pieces, things like that. So what I've given you is a couple of exercises here, um, and we're going to talk about how to remove um, a shape from another shape. So what I'm going to start with is selecting this white rectangle. Um, I can do it from the layers panel, or if you have auto select selected, you can just click on it here. And then we're going to choose the rectangle tool. That's usually the one on top, but just in case you can right click and activate it that way. And then in the top here in my options bar, I'm going to drop down and say subtract front shape. Okay. I'm going to click one time and I'm going to get my create a rectangle box and I'm going to choose 800 by 600 okay, from center and I'm going to say okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to take and put this shape for me here and I can now reposition this and change it if I need to, which obviously I do because I want to kind of create like a little white border, if you will. If yours is not perfect, don't stress about it. It is completely okay. If I do it again, um, depending on kind of where you click, kind of determines where it cuts, if you will. Okay. So I think I didn't type in the right numbers that time. So I'm just going to adjust this a little. It's just kind of the way I like to do it is kind of eyeball it this way. You can use these kind of um, smart guy boxes that pop up. But you want to make sure that you know how to kind of cut out various shapes. I have seen this several times in the certification exam. So it's something that I think is really helpful to be able to do, to use, things like that. On the second page, we're going to be doing something similar, but this time I want you to use the ellipse tool. 
So we're going to go and this time, rather than doing it from a shape to a shape, we're going to kind of work on these separately. So I've got this little poppy image. I've got a background here. And what I want to do is I want to combine the shapes from the drop down menu um, or do a subtract from front from the drop down menu as well. And we're going to do subtract from front. And then what we're going to do is you, um, I'm going to select this rectangle this time. And then I'm going to kind of click and drag this time kind of the front center shape so that you can just see that there are different ways to do it. You don't have to do the origination box if you don't want to. I kind of like doing it this way personally. Um, I will say I use the subtract more often than I use anything else um, rather than doing um, merging shapes, but that's super simple as well where you can take any kind of shapes if you want to and then choose combine shapes and then maybe I'll do a triangle here and then you can kind of merge off of that one shape so if you see they all kind of move together so that can be very helpful depending on maybe you're trying to do a more complex shape for something simple personally if I'm gonna do shapes I tend to do them in Illustrator but something as simple as this is pretty easy and effective to do so once you're finished you're gonna save these and turn them in um, if you'd like more about these different topics just like and subscribe thank you